Hey, thank you for clicking on another video with your girl Alicia, truly walking by faith. Today's video, guys, we will be talking about um, transitioning from summer into fall. And I'm going to be doing that with all thrifted items because as I told you guys in my last video, I love to thrift. So I decided I would use all thrifted items. I believe everything is thrifted. If there's anything that isn't thrifted, I will let you know. But um, these are pieces that I had in my closet. This isn't anything that's recent. I do have some recent items that we're going to talk about that I just picked up. And I'm going to show it to you. But we're going to style that next week after I clean everything up. But I just wanted to show you the items today just in case somebody was like, well, how do we know it's thrifted? Or, you know, you don't believe that they're thrifted. I'm going to show you them before I clean them up. And then next week, we can style them. So that's what we're doing today. So if that seems like something you'll be interested in, stick around and watch your girl. Let's jump right in. Okay, guys. So the first, I, oh, let me just show y'all what I have on. Y'all know y'all be all OOTD, but um, I'm just going to stand up because your girl ain't get to that level yet. So we're just going to stand up. I'm going to show y'all my little um, Prada shorts that I got from, um, these are my Prada nylon shorts. These are shorts that I purchased off uh, Timu. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. These are not Prada shorts. These are nylon shorts, but these are my version of the Prada nylon shorts. <laughs> um, I actually purchased these from Walmart. These are not even from uh, Wish or Timu. These are from Walmart. They're really comfortable. I love these shorts. And I got them like two sizes too big just so that they could be like real big on me and i have little legs so i don't know why i be buying my shorts so big but i just love having that oversized look up on on my shorts so anyway and i have on my um h and m uh, muscle top but this is like you know like the frankie shop i think version you know how they have the frankie so this is my version from h and m and yeah guys that's my version of the Frankie shop but this is from H&M and I just have it tucked in with these shorts and I don't have anywhere to go so um, I'm just in the house wearing this so I'm just showing you guys but anyway let's just jump right on into this haul that I've recently thrifted and this is items from Goodwill everything that I have here is about five dollars and under so we're gonna jump right in this is the first item which is this cardigan mm -hmm. it's a cardigan it has gold and um pearls on it you see the buttons i really like that and this is from leslie fay i believe it is and i thought this was really cute this looks like an item that you would probably wear for like Christmas or maybe New Year's but for me I just love to style stuff like this with just a pair of jeans and maybe some sneakers and since we're going into fall I would probably throw it on with like a pair of Doc Martens and a pair of jeans or I could throw it on with a pair of um, sneakers you know like some J's or something like that I have a pair that are like gold and white um, they're not J's, but they're like Air Force Ones, and they're gold and white. And I would just throw them on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show it to you today, and next week I'm going to style it. So if you want to see how I style it, stick around for next week's video, and I'll show you how I style that. But yeah, guys, I think like when it comes to having fat, fancy pieces in your closet, don't be afraid to wear them. Don't let them sit in your closet and wait for a special occasion, because sometimes... They'll be sitting in there for months and that special occasion won't even come. These are your clothes, you bought them, wear them. That's the way I see it. So this next item is this 100% silk top from Bloomingdale's. Um, yeah, from Bloomingdale's. I don't know, it still has a tag on it. I don't know what this tag is about, but it still has a tag on it. Um, it's from Bloomingdale's 100% Silk, and I like it because it has the metallic-looking buttons, and it's navy blue. 
but it's just a button down and I like that because you know as we transition into fall you could put this on with a nice pair of slacks if you want to you could put it on with a pair of denim that's probably how I'm going to style it up with a pair of denim and just a little pair of boots or something like that so that was that piece this next piece is a leopard print blazer double breasted which I absolutely love I love animal print that's one of my favorite um, prints and it's double breasted and this is by Kinar and this is really pretty um, it has shoulder pads and this is actually in a size 4 um, I don't know if that's like a plus size 4 because this I'm definitely nobody's 4 maybe a 14 but not a 4 this could be like I know like the brand Chico's I know they style their clothes like one two three four so it could be like that or it could just be um you know because it's a vintage piece a lot of times the sizing was different i'm not really sure what that means but it doesn't matter to me i just think that when you thrift you have to try clothes on because if you don't try them on you're going to find yourself a lot of times you know missing up on good stuff just because you didn't try it on and you think oh I can't fit it because if I would have just looked at that and saw the tag I may not have tried it on but I'm looking at it and I'm like hmm let me see you know and I put it on and it fits so and I know I'm nobody's for and this next item is something that I usually don't gravitate to which is fast fashion when I'm thrifting because I feel like if I'm thrifting I like to look for vintage pieces. I like to look for things that are a little more unique. You know, something that you won't find in your typical everyday store. But um, I kind of like these. They're by Wild Fable, which is sold at Target. So I just picked them up, $5, $4, whatever the heck they were, just to have, because you see the shape of them. I like that with cowboy boots. So I just thought that that was cute. And as we're going into fall, and since I'm in the South, you can wear your cowboy boots and you can still wear your shorts. So that was just that piece. Um, this next item is also something that I kind of think is fast fashion as well, which is this little mesh jacket by the brand Revamp. And it still has neon green and it's mesh. But what I like about this is that it has a hood. What I like is that this part up here where your breasts are, is covered it has like the fabric so I like that so I'm like okay I could wear this without a t-shirt or you know without a shirt and just wear it like with your bra but your bra won't be showing because you have the fabric on that part so I think that's kind of cool and I would probably just style that you know just for going to the store hanging around not really doing much but I just thought it was cute I didn't have anything neon green in my closet so that's really what made me gravitate to it because I do have mesh and net, you know, fabric. So anyway, this next item is something that's also big for me. This one is big. This is by the brand Kathy Lee. And this is a plus size dress. But I like it because it's olive green, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, it's to a point now where I have to make myself back away from green when I see it in the store because I have so much but it's very long comes all the way down to my ankles and I'm five seven and a half so to find a dress that comes all the way down to my ankles I usually love those it's short sleeves um, it has little straps up at the top shoulder straps and it has splits down on the side at the bottom and I just think this is cute you know just to wear as we're transitioning you know into four and sometimes I like to wear items like this with like a pair of jeans and just have on a top in your jeans and you leave it open you know like a um a duster kimono you know like that type of look so I like to do stuff like that sometimes with items like this and you have like something long sleeve so maybe that's how I'll style it in the next video so you guys can see what I mean because that's the thing about thrifting when you go thrifting I think that you have to really think outside the box you have to look at items and you have to say um, how can I make this work for me because a lot of times the items when you look at them on a the hanger 
you're like, I don't want this. This doesn't look good. But uh, sometimes I like the color or if I like the quality of a piece, I'm like, no, I'm getting this and I'm going to find a way to make it work. And that's why a lot of times I hear people say, oh, when I go thrifting, I never find anything. That may be the reason why, because you have to be able to think outside the box. You have to tell yourself, how can I make this item work for me? You know, and sometimes that may mean altering it some kind of way. You might take it to, you know, your tailor and have it, you know, tailored or whatever. Or you may, um, like a lot of times I'll just cut stuff. I just get the scissors and get the cut and... <laughs> I'm <laughs> just ghetto ratchet. I don't know what to tell y'all. But I'll just get the scissors and I'll cut off sleeves sometimes. Or I'll cut it and make it shorter. Like, I love to buy pieces that are, like, really big. And I think that's what I did in my last video. I bought, like, a shirt that was really long. And I just cropped it because I liked everything else about it. But I just knew that it was too long and it wasn't going to look good on me if I left it that size. But once I cropped it, I loved it. So, I'm just saying that to say... If you're somebody who wants to thrift or you like, I like thrifting, but I never find anything. You have to go in and you have to look beyond what's in front of you. So anyway, this next item I have is a pair of joggers. You see that color? I think it's so pretty. It's like a metallic blue. You can kind of see, I'm trying to show you, like you see a little bit of like purple in there or pink, whatever it is. And I love this right here probably something I'm gonna end up playing off of those colors and they're long and they scrunch you down to the bottom they feel like silk um, they don't have a label on them so I'm not really sure if it's fast fashion or something you know old but I figured they were cute because I like the color and I didn't have anything like that um, and I'm gonna style those up for you next week and I like those because the material you can kind of work with it you can dress it up or you can dress it down so these are going to be all items that I'm going to transition um, next week for you I'm sorry guys I'm gonna transition all of these items for you next week transition I'm going to style all these items next week for you guys that's what I was trying to say I don't know what I was saying but that's what I wanted to say um, so anyway I'm gonna show you some items that I have here today and I'm gonna insert pictures of me with the items on okay so this next item is now these are the items that I already had that I styled the other items like I said were items that are going to be washed up and styled for you in the next video so this here is a shirt by the brand Ruby Road. And this shirt is too big for me. This is a 2X. I don't know why this shirt gives me Fendi vibes, but it does. I don't know if it's the colors maybe, but um, it definitely gives me Fendi vibes. And it's too big for me, but that doesn't stop me from buying it. <laughs> I, like I said, I just look at items and I style it up. And I think what I did is I styled it with these um, cut-off Levi shorts. And these are new. These are new, still have the tag on them. And um, like I said, all of these items were a recent purchase from Goodwill. And these are cut up. They have like cuts in them. And so I like that. Um, if I would have remembered that I had these, I wouldn't have bought the last pair that I just showed you from Target, the Wild Fable. But that's what happens when you thrift. Sometimes you have so much stuff that you don't even remember what you have. So, yeah, guys. Don't be like me. Don't buy so much stuff that you don't even remember what you have. <laughs> so that's why now when I thrift, I'm thrifting for pieces that are going to add to my wardrobe that are more unique i'm not looking for things that are, are similar to something i already have i'm trying to really pay attention to what i'm purchasing because i just have so much clothes now it's just like girl ridiculous okay anyway this next item is this like i said i love animal print so i have this silk looks like a um kimono but then it also looks like a dress 
and I actually love it. It's like gray, white, and black. Really pretty. It's not silk though. I think this is polyester, which I don't usually like, but if the piece is really unique, I'll get it. Um, I'm not sure the material. Let me say. Um, but it doesn't feel like <clears throat> polyester. But it don't feel like silk either, so I'm not really sure. Maybe it's rayon or something. I'm not sure. But I really like it. It looks like it should have had shoulder pads. It may have had shoulder pads at one time. Maybe somebody cut them out. I'm not sure. But it looks like it should have shoulder pads. Let me see. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of string over here. Like it may have had shoulder pads. And um, I think that's kind of cool. I may even, it has pleats in the back. Yeah, I think this is cute. And the same pleats run in the front. I may put some shoulder pads on it just to see how it looks. Cause oh, maybe I could try it with this shirt. Cause you know this shirt has the shoulder pads on it. It's just to see. Hmm, how about that? Hold on, guys. Yeah, guys. So this is it with the shoulder pads on the shirt. I haven't stood up to really see it, but I was just trying to see how it looked. Cause it looked like it should have shoulder pads to me. So. I don't know how that looks to you guys, but I don't know. I'm not standing up, so I can't really see it, but I just wanted to see. That might be something that I play with to see how that looks. But I actually styled this up with um, my black cowboy boots. Oh, and I didn't mention in the last one, I also styled that with cowboy boots. Let me show you guys the boots. And all of these items are thrifted. And here are these. Thrifted leather tassels. Ooh. And these are by the brand Laredo. Look at this. Brand new, guys. Brand new. Okay. So this is why I say you have to thrift. And I love this for me because I have a motorcycle jacket, leather, with black. The fringe is on it. I can't wait to wear that together. That's going to look so ooh, spicy. So... This is why I say you have to thrift. Don't be afraid to thrift. Thrifting is so much fun, especially when you find pieces like that. Um, when you find pieces like that that uh, are kind of unique that you might not see too many people with. And I know that that's an item that, yeah, so you guys have to really like think about the money that you would spend in a retail store. You know for certain items and think about how much you save if you thrift you know I know it's not everybody's thing though I definitely get it but I love it um, these here are a pair of shorts that are like huge on me these are size 32 and these are by um, Amber Crombie and Fitch but I like them I like for my shorts to be big on me um short shorts to be big because i don't like if you have on like little shorts and they're all rising up between your legs and your thighs and rubbing and mm -mm, that doesn't look attractive to me and i don't like the way it feels so i like to size up in my shorts because it gives you room for your legs to move around you're not constantly pulling at them so yeah that's just my take on that and i styled it with this um, denim Harley Davidson shirt which I absolutely love I think this is like my new favorite piece um, I've had it for a little while but this is like my favorite piece in my closet um, and I recently well I purchased it like back in the winter so I haven't been able to wear it because it's been warm so that's why I say my new piece but I styled it with those blue shorts and I also sometimes style it with these jeans, which are a pair of rookie denims. Oh, not rookie, rocky, sorry guys. A pair of rocky denims. And I love it because they have these silver buttons on the side, which is also cute with the boots because it goes with that. But I didn't style it with that. But I just think that that's cute together because of the hardware. And this is that good quality denim, you know, that cotton. We love when we find jeans that are 100% cotton. I'm not sure that these are 100% cotton. Yes, they are, see? 
They're 100% cotton, and that's the type of jeans we love. We love when we find jeans that are 100% cotton. Only bad part is that those jeans don't have stretch when they're 100% cotton. So if you like, you know, have a lot of body, you kind of want something that's going to give you stretch maybe. But I'd say just size up, and you won't have to worry about that. Um, I really like these. These are high-waisted, so they come all the way up. They're long. I'm five seven and a half, like I said. So these are long. See, I cuffed them at the bottom. I wasn't sure how I wanted to style them cuffed or uncuffed, but I love that. And then this, um, the other one. When I wore the shirt that I said looked like a Fendi shirt, I wore it with my suede Zara cowboy boots. But these are not um, thrifted. These were not thrifted. These were purchased from Zara. Probably like two years ago or a year ago, something like that. But um, that's the only thing. Yeah, that wasn't thrifted. So I did good. And then I also have my little denim Zara slides. I think I per uh, styled the shirt, the long sleeve shirt, the um, Harley Davidson shirt, with that, with those um, slides as well. So, guys, I think. That pretty much wraps up this video. I'm going to insert some pictures so you can see the items that I thrifted. Um, oh, I also have this little clear belt, which I think is super cute. I find some of the best belts thrifting. And this is like a dollar. Their belts are 99 cents at the Goodwill by me. And I love that because I be finding some really cute belts. And the thing is, the quality be there. So it's to a point now where I can't even go in the store and spend money retail on a regular belt because I got so used to thrifting and finding good quality that I'm like, I'm not paying this much money for this cheap belt. <laughs> you know, when I go in regular retail, fast fashion or whatever. Also, I have this shirt here. Let me hold on. Let me show you guys this shirt. Okay, I have this shirt here. This is a regular short sleeve button down shirt. This shirt is huge. I'm going to show you pictures of it. This shirt is a size 4X. And this is by the brand Harbor Bay. And I would call this my Big Daddy shirt. <laughs> Big Daddy Grandpa shirt. I don't know what you're going to call it. But this shirt is huge. But I loved it because it was green. It's like a, you can see, it looks like, like a chartreuse or something like that. I'm not sure. But it's pretty celery type of green. And I love that. So I styled that with a pair of short shorts and a white tank top. And I'm going to show you pictures of me with that on as well. But um, yeah, guys, that wraps up today's video. I just want to say thank you for clicking on and rocking with your girl for video number four. Yes, y'all, we have video number four. Your girl is really trying to stay consistent and push these videos out. So if you guys enjoy my video and you like affordable fashion especially thrifting um i would suggest that you subscribe but before you go before you go please click like don't just disrespect me and exit out without clicking that like okay i need some friends out here in the streets all right so i need you guys to at least hit the like button if you don't want to subscribe but you know i'm a vibe so you might as well subscribe <laughs> <laughs> bars your girl got bars out here <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in to another video with your girl Leisha. truly walking by faith continue to walk by faith guys and i'll catch you in the next one peace